Okay, so pardon the wind here. I'm um, getting the area prepped out for my uh, the sink I'm going to build. And I've got to extend this paver brick patio here to be able to put the uh, the sink on top of it on its base. I'm installing the plumbing and getting the plumbing routed from over there to over here. And uh, I'm going to keep the hose bib and, and I've got to move the landscape light transformer and pipe. Alright, now all the pipe is in. Got to cover everything back up and I can do the uh, paver patio. First, right, Daddy? What's that? I already got all the pipes in that I need. So now you have to cover them back, cover now, it back up? Now I gotta cover it all back up. Oh, I can help with that. I know. Well, there's all the uh, pieces that are cut and ready to be welded together for the base, for the sink. I'm going to set up the welder and start welding this out. Okay, there it is all mocked up, everything's square, and I'm going to go ahead and weld in the cross pieces. The two end columns have all been uh, welded and ground smooth, so I'm going to weld in these cross pieces now. And uh, the spool gun is working better than I expected it to be. So. Um, I'm probably going to use that a lot more often.
Okay, so the anchors that hold these brackets in here, they weren't the best, and I had to uh, epoxy a couple of them in. And uh, but really, the weight of the sink is being held in by the uh, silicone adhesive up in here. Overall, I'm pretty pretty happy with the quality of the sink. Uh, except for these plastic mollies, so I could do without those. I think if I was going to do it again, I'd, I'd buy some regular brass inserts and epoxy those in. But overall, it's uh, it seems to be fairly sturdy. Well, everything's in place. But most of the construction work is done. Got the water turned on. Right now, I just got the water going into a five-gallon bucket. And I've got the plumbing in, but there's going to be some construction going on in this area where I'm going to tie into the the uh, the waistline. And uh, one of the other things I got to do is put some wood, or I'm probably going to use. I was thinking about using some ipe or some mahogany, but the general theme of this sink here is weatherproof and if I get real wood on there while that stuff will last pretty long it's probably not going to be what I want so I'm, I'm probably just going to get some composite decking and put that down on the bottom where the five gallon bucket's going to sit and uh, call it done and I'll probably end up putting a skirt around the front to hide the sink right in this area here to kind of cover this part of it and then the, all, all the underneath will be storage and right now it's just going to be for the bucket as you can tell I've got the plumbing in there so otherwise I consider it a uh, a successful project one final thing I have to do is seal the concrete so I'll do that, and I'll bring you back for a, a final video once everything is all done. But for the most part, this is how it's going to look, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching and follow me through this build. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments and the private messages that, are, that have been sent to me uh, regarding some of these projects I've done. So uh, keep those coming. If you have anything you want to add, feel free to comment. Leave it down in the comment section. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.